This call may be monitored or recorded for quality assurance or training purposes. I'm Lockout Men, and I present to you another MTC on the Recruiter Call channel. We're back with a new episode of Company Calls. In this episode, we're continuing to find out their drug screening process and if they accept SAP drivers. If this is something that's interest to you, make sure you stay tuned. Master Express. How much experience do you guys require? Six months. What's the uh, mileage pay? Uh, based on six months, it's going to be anywhere between 50 and 53 cents a mile. The drug screening, is it urine or hair follicles or both? It's urine. Do you guys accept SAP drivers? Not within the last five years. Fremont contract carriers. Well, how much experience do you guys require? Um, we'd like to see about 18 months of over-the-road experience. Um, if you have a little less than that, then we could try to pair you with a trainer. What would be the mileage pay coming in? If I had to guess, maybe like 50. 53. Um, without saying you're, I mean, it could be more. I'm, I'm not 100% sure. We do have a bonus program. You can make up to an additional six cents each quarter as well. Drug screening? Is it urine, hair follicles, or both? It'd be urine. Do you guys accept SAP drivers? We do not, sadly. Advanced trucking. So you guys are owner-operator company. If I'm looking for a driving position, would I be paired with an owner-operator? You would not be with an owner-operator, no. You would be either a lease purchase. Are you looking for a lease purchase? What, what, do you, what do you guys got to offer? So the only thing that we have, we do lease purchases. So we have two options. You can have your own truck and be an owner-operator, or we have a lease purchase where you can lease a truck through us until the end of the lease and depending on the lease term is how much the buyout would be so it just depends because sometimes we have like a, a peterbilt where the fair market or like the buyout is the fair market lease excuse me is the fair market value of the truck where we have sometimes a, um, like a 2019 freightliner and those are anywhere between five and fifteen thousand dollar buyout would i have to acquire some type of llc no nope, you don't have to have an llc you can if you if you would like that is completely up to the driver but I have drivers that do have LLCs and I have drivers that don't. So it's completely up to you, required. What would be my expense for the for the truck every week? Um, well, it just depends, but I can go over like the basic. Um, and are you, are you self-dispatch or have you? Is I'm a company driver, so all of this is new to me. Okay. So um, all of our drivers, they are self-dispatch. So we would place you on about six or seven different load boards. Um, you would be able to pick your own freight, negotiate your own rates. Um, you would get paid 80% of the load. Um, or if you wanted to do the power only, we would place you on one load board. You would use one of their trailers and you would get 88% of the load. That means I would choose my own loads, choose where I want to go, choose where I want to pick up from and everything. Mm hmm we would get 20 and you would get 80. And then um, if you did, if you were on the six or seven different load boards, but if you did that, the power only, then you would get 88%. So can you give me a ballpark of what I'm looking at to be making after everything? Well, it really just depends. And I mean, it depends on where you like to run and everything like that. Um, so what we do is we look for two years minimum verifiable over the road experience within the past three years. No, excuse me, no more than six jobs within the past two years. No more than one ticket within the past three years. No at-fault accidents within the past three years. No license suspensions within the past three years. Um, no DUI, OWI within the past five years, and absolutely none in the truck. Um, we would check your PSP, making sure that you don't have any level one, two, or three inspections that have violations or warnings, and then absolutely no abandonment, okay? So um, that's just some of the things that we would, when we're you know, processing the application, we're just kind of looking at. So. Um, the weekly fixed cost, it's $155 a week for your liability cargo and interchange insurance, $100 a week for 25 weeks. That does cap off at $2,500. That is an escrow. So that will cover any fees, tolls, if the once you leave the company. $40 a week for your place and permits, $750 a week for your prepass, 
Tolls will be due at the beginning of each month. $10 a week for your ELD. The driver is responsible to provide their own tablet and it does have to have data. Okay. Excuse me. And then $40.25 for your occupational accident, which is similar to like a workman's comp. That does total $352.75 until the escrow is paid and then it's $252.75. Um, depending on the truck, we do obviously um, provide physical damage, which is based off the value of the truck, and then seven dollars and forty cents for your bobtail. Drug screening is it urine or hair follicles or both? Both. Do you guys accept SAP drivers? Unfortunately, we do not. All right, there you have it, drivers. If any of these companies will work out for you, reach out to them and see what they can do for you. If these calls helped you out, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for the next. MTC on the Recruiter Call Channel. Who's next? Next.